Let's all just pray it's good. Let's go talk to Penny. We can talk to Arvin and the Mona again. Let's go talk to Penny. Alright. Our best friend. Our four our three best friends that are totally better than the X and Y best friends. Penny. Oh, Penny. No, she's here. There she is. She's hiding. Yeah, I just don't like her. Well, look, it's her friends. Yeah, what? what dry crunch? Hurry up and hide and keep quiet, okay? Jeez, that was close. What you doing? What you doing? Uh, yeah, you know, I just, uh, I guess I'll come clean. Take a look over there. Do you get it now? A little context, please. A little context, please. Ah, uh, sorry, you jumped scare earlier, completely fat, so I'm already still trying to reboot. Alright, here's a sitch. Teen Star, a star have started coming to school again, but I don't know if they're going to, going to fit in okay, and it's been playing them on my mind, you know? So I'm checking on them from over here. Hmm, I guess we're not, still not exactly getting a warm welcome here, huh? Well, duh. Sure, the teachers finally figured out we're not a bunch of delinquents. But it's not like we can press some magic button to make everyone else accept us. Sure, sure, we gotta fix this, my man. Time for a change of tack. A change of tack? What? What? Are they gonna start wearing normal school uniforms so they stop scaring off the other kids? Oh, Marty, they're really... Both really trying to their best to fit in here at school. Can attack, huh? What are you suggesting? But I mean, uh, how about uh, say, how about we say a big friendly howdy to everyone here, like just yell at it loud as we can. <laughs> well, that's stupid. Go on and embarrass yourself if you want to, but count me out. Er, yeah, the idea seems a bit off. Hold on, let me explain. You know Rhyme, right? She does this at her concerts, no joke. If the crowd ain't hyped at the start of the show, she'll shut the loudest greeting you've... you... you ever heard into the mic, like, Sup, y'all, or whatever. Lifts the mood like nobody's business. Yeah, that makes sense, because those are concerts. This is a school, it's different. Okay, smart guy, so we're opting for the cold shoulder treatment forever then, are we? No, that totally suck. It would, wouldn't it? So yeah, our only option is to yell at everyone so they know we're nice. Here, I'm gonna go for it. Oh God! Hey, morning, y'all. How are we feeling today? Oh no, Kiaka, what are you doing? This is so embarrassing. Everyone having a good time? Come on, Otaku, you can do it too. Hold on a sec. You're just practicing for your DJ sets, aren't you? Thanks for coming tonight! Quick, say it! Thanks for coming tonight! <laughs> Fuck it, idiot. Hey, what do you mean, thanks for coming? We're not hosting anything. What on earth? Those guys from Team Sons, what the heck they're yelling for? Some kind of skit? Hey, they're pretty funny. Guess they're not as scary as I thought. No way. It's actually working! People are actually warming up to them? Why? That makes zero sense. Momo and Artie are operating on a different level. Kind of amazed. Seems all my worrying was for nothing, huh? Now that let's settle, I guess I should get going. Hasta la vista. Oh, that was cute. And just friends being friends. Yeah. Let's go check up on our other friends. There's Arvid, and then there's Penny and Nimona. Oh no, it's Dr. Clobble. Dry, Clobble. Dry Crunch, Clobble. boy, did I pick a great time to stop on by. Take a look at this. It's supposed to be a sample from my mother's research from back when she was a student. <laughs> That's what Dr. Clobble told me. He's been helping me out. 
When Sada was a student at the academy, I was still a mere researcher myself. Among my peers, who has already been batted about the astoundingly gifted young woman was studying at Naranja Academy. So she really was amazing, right from the start, huh? Oh, I guess I never really questioned it, but what is your office full of all this equipment? Oh, see, fine, I always have you. This room was once your mother's research lab. It was? From what I recounted, she apparently would become so absorbed in her research that she hardly ever returned to her dorm room. She spent most nights sleeping here, in fact. I also found myself more at ease surrounded by the research equipment, so I took the liberty of adapting the room to serve as my office. Never knew. All these pieces of my mom's life, they were right in front of me this whole time. So it's long trying not to think about her that I've never even noticed until now. Thanks for telling me about this, Director Clavel. And Director Crutch, thanks for being here with me to learn about it too. But Master Arvin, I also intend to explain about these trophies here. And he's already gone. Rather hard to pin down, isn't he? Off like a flash as soon as some new thought crosses his mind. My dear Sada. I think that son of yours takes after you a very great deal. Wait... Is he like... Is he like Arvid's granddad? That'd be a fucking plot twist and a half. No one fucking knows. He's Arvid's grandfather? What a fucking twist. Mm hmm. I like how Penny's just steady there. Hmm. Yes. Oh, but he said no. Yeah, yeah you can. For real, I mean, sure, no one loves losing. It's definitely not pointless. It teaches you stuff. Man, Pokemon battles can be so complicated sometimes. And I wish you hadn't called me a whiz. I work hard at stuff. It's not just all that comes... It's not like it all just comes naturally to me. Why, throwing Pokeballs obviously doesn't come naturally to me for one thing. I think I need a mental rest. Reset. I'm gonna go find someone to battle. Oh my god! She's in dry crush. She's literally fucking Goku! <laughs> Alright, Dry Crunch. Um, I'm checking in on Atticus. Let's keep your voice down, okay? Appreciate it. Hmm. I must say, the Academy Emporium stocks some rather splendid wares. I admit my expectations were far lower than warranted. Alright, let's see who's taking a shine at the school store. Let's see no notice this anytime soon. I guess there's no point whispering. You know, all my team star friends, it's Atticus and worried about trouble fitting in. Greetings, my good shot keep. I would very much like to acquire the limited edition ninja garments released today. Believe you have five in stock, yes? Ah, the ninja cosplay set, yes? I'm sorry, dear, but someone bought the last two from us earlier. Completely sold out. What? This cannot be! If I'm unable to procure those garments, why? I, 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 that will ruin everything! It appears I have no choice but to track down the rival patron of mine when I find them. I shall fix them with a piercing gaze and beg them on the bending knee for the ninja garments I so crave. What, since when was Atticus this good looking? Wait, no, no, focus. It, if he starts begging some kid for their ninja outfit, people will think he's a weirdo. We should stop him, right? <laughs> well, let's just bad, see though. how this pans out. You seriously put. Oh, Don Atticus! Don Atticus, there you are. My young compadre. I must apologize. 
About the garments I promised you so that we might dress the ninja together. Oh yeah, I got us covered. Already bought two sets of the ninja costume stuff for us to wear. I beg your pardon? When I came here earlier, the shopkeeper lady was putting them on the shelves. So I bought one for you and one for me. You know how popular these outfits are. I was super lucky to be able to snag them. Now come on, let's go play ninja outside. Goodness me, what a happy turn of events. I shall retrieve my shuriken from my quarters so we might enjoy some target practice. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and also use my masterful stitchery to transform thy ninja garments into sublime versions of po Vision of Poison. What do you say? Um, I'm good, thanks. Haha, <laughs> the, the insolence of this one. They're just good friends. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he was able to wrap this little escapade without making a scene. More importantly, Atticus has already made a friend at school. Kind of makes me feel bad that I thought I had to spy on him. Anyway, I guess I'll get going. How's the love you, Star? There's a lot of things with these guys. With Penny and D Devona and Arvid. I'll do it later because Joe wants to chill. Yeah, we'll chill. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yep. We'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next vid of whatever I do. Catch you guys later. Peace. Peace. Stay crispy, my dudes. Bye. <laughs>